so um going to change the mood a little bit so um it's a beautiful day outside and um you know as part of me i'm still counting down the time where we are allowed to go out sometimes i think oh do you know what let's just go to uh, milton Keynes. just go then i think oh no i can't because it's locked down um and then the garden looks so beautiful um but it's really windy so i can't i don't really like going out when it's cold um, but there's so much things that we've been doing and uh, my makeup is getting a lot better. I think let's just start with that. <laughs> it's getting a lot better. And I now know why, you know, people back home wear so much makeup and all these highlighters. Oh my God, in a mirror looks like geisha, but in the camera looks really good, which is kind of like freaky because I've come across this term called catfishing and my brother, my brother, my son said that. I'm like, what the hell catfishing? Catfish is a really ugly fish that is a bottom dweller you know it's just like oh the scourge and i'm like you're calling me a catfish like what angle do i look like a catfish it was like no mommy <laughs> i didn't mean that i mean like catfish are people who you know make themselves look so gorgeous and they think and then in real life they're completely different i'm like oh, how rude and then um then I was watching these uh, Vietnamese girls who like do all this transformation and all the different tapes and put all that modeling clay to shape up the nose and like all these weird and wonderful things and then all the reactions that he watches all of this stuff all the, all the reactions of people when they take off their makeup and I go my god that is called a catfish uh, or catfishing oh my god and it came up with all these different stories of um, people got married and then next morning or whatever they look completely stuck, you know, like uh, barters. And then the next man, I think he was a Chinese or someone from Dubai, I don't I can't remember where, but just divorced his wife, I think he was Chinese, divorced his wife. Um, because um, when they had, it was Chinese, oh it was Oriental anyway, and when they had um, children, the children were, well ugly, and no parent says that, yeah, but then was the truth is the truth. And, <laughs> and it was like, those children don't even look like me, and they certainly don't look like you. Like, how could two really good looking people have really ugly children? Like, you know, it was mind boggling, and he did a bit, you know, digging. And then he realised, or found out anyway, that um, his wife had cos extensive amount of cosmetic surgery. So when he like, you know, went for the family albums or for whatever sources, he found pictures of her like with some like mash up nose and buck up teeth and all that sort of stuff. And then she obviously went for a transformation. Why should you tell anyone about your transformation? You know, it is what it is. You know, you made me for me. This is me, regardless if I've had a bit of a tweak or <laughs> other. imagine so yeah be yourself and uh, when someone says to me oh it would be like nice to see you alive i'm like no you won't no you won't and um and i don't know but i've seen your picture i went yeah the pictures so now i can say yeah i'm catfishing but no catfishing is something that you it's derogative that means you are literally taking pictures to gain a gain a tax, um, attraction from the opposite gender um, for you, obviously for yourself, um, to lure them in or whatever. I don't do that. I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. No, I don't do that at all. I should take pictures. I like it. And I'd put makeup on. I'm learning. I'm taking this time to learn how to do makeup. And I think I'm finding my, I, I think I'm finding my ground. I'm liking this baking, baking powder. I mean, come on. Um, finishing, um, powder and i understand why you use it and i like it so yeah catfishing so yeah so i'm quite excited i don't know why i'm excited i've had no breakfast yet i've had an insulin injection which is really dangerous not to have it um thingy, but i had um what did i have last night i had some chips last night with my food and my sugar levels were a bit high they were about i think it was about 12 should be seven um, so I took my insulin injection and I keep falling asleep before I, I take my readings and my readings are everywhere. I used to have like my alarm at seven o'clock, take my, my reading, my, you know, my insulin and all that sort of stuff. And now I'm not even getting out of bed till about 11 because I sleep really late and, um, I don't want my doctors to see my record book. I'm going to be the one of those children there. I'm sorry, but I've lost my book or my sibling drooled all over it or my dog ate it or something. I have to, like, a grown woman have to come up with some sort of excuses. And I find myself just writing some weird stuff to cover up why, I'm, why it's so high. It's 
stay home, look after yourself, love your, um, you know, your loved ones, obviously, and have a really good time with your children, dress up, even if it's going from one room to another, just, you know, do things to keep yourself, um, you know, alive and um, learn new things and, uh, you know, I've got this opportunity, I'm going to use it and I'm not, uh, I'm not worried about how makeup I've gone through and the fact that I'm running out of things but Amazon's still delivering which is so good um, so yeah stay home stay safe and um, keep smiling and send the love around the world because your love and your positivity means everything to anyone you don't know that one smile and that really glimmer of you know oh sunshine and then it's gonna lift somebody else's spirit 